Hey guys, here we have the latest MicroRTX board from ASUS. This is a Tough Gaming B550M Plus with Wi-Fi and looks like a pretty well-rounded board. In the box, we find Wi-Fi antenna for the onboard Wi-Fi 6 module, two SATA cables, IO shield, M.2 accessories, Tough Gaming stickers, support DVD, Tough certification card and manual. Moving on to the motherboard. This board is for AMD AM4 platform and is more specifically for the Ryzen 3rd gen processors. This board will also support other Ryzen CPUs, including the upcoming 4th gen. For full list, please check the Asus website. This board features 8 plus 2 Dr. Moss power stages with large heat sinks which should provide adequate cooling. As this is a reasonably budget board, I would not expect it to handle any extreme overclock, but we'll be testing this in the future, so make sure to subscribe. On the right, we have four DIMM slots supporting dual channel DDR4 memory with speeds up to 4400 and a total capacity of 128 gig. Below, we have the main reason why people may choose this board over the last gen B450. PCIe Gen 4 times 16 slot and also PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slot. Bear in mind, due to the nature of this board, M.2 slot is actually shorter and it will only support 80 mil drives. We also have one PCIe Gen 3 times 16 and times 1 slot plus PCIe Gen 3 M.2 slot. This one supports full size drives up to 110 mil. On the bottom right, we have four SATA ports and across the whole board, we have four fan headers, two up top and two below, plus three RGB headers. Two of them are the standard four pin, which is 12 volts, and one of them is addressable, which is three pins, five volts. In regards of front USB connectors, you can have up to two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, that is the five gigabit variant, and four USB 2.0. At the back, we have a big range of different connections, which is actually surprising at this price point. Here we find PS2 ports, 8 USB ports, including Type A and Type C, Display Ports 1.2 and HDMI 2.1, a Wi-Fi 6 module, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, and a full array of audio connections. It's pretty much all you would need from any PC. This board is also packed with a few neat features. We get a QLEDs to help with troubleshooting any boot issues, M.2 heatsink, Wi-Fi 6, and 2.5 gigabit network. It's fascinating. Just last year, some of these features would have been found on top tier boards. It is very nice to see a budget-friendly board like this catching up. On paper, it does look really, really good. We'll be taking it through its paces in the next video. So let us know what you would like us to focus on. Pricing for this board will be announced shortly. We'll make sure to update the link in the description below. I hope this was useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.